How's it going? How's it going guys? Coffee here. Today I wanted to talk about my recommended guide for newer players or players just going through the Atlas for the first time in a league for my recommended way to unlock all of the cards as quickly as possible and start earning as much flame aluminium as possible. First things first, we are going to start in Glacial Abyss. This is going to be the first area that you get sent to with your uh, first nether own quest for tier 1. My recommended zone for running in this area is going to be Demi Man Village. Um, this map is extremely linear and it has more mobs than both of the other Ramparts maps, which are the other two alternative maps that are also extremely linear. Um, the Ramparts of Justice is going to be a little bit faster to run if you are just trying to cycle as fast as possible to unlock more cards. Um, you can run that one, but the Demi Man Village is going to give you more mobs per map. Um, and not take that much extra time. So if you consider loading times, um, the Demi Man Village um, map is typically going to edge that one out. For the recommended cards that I am recommending to newer players, if it is a brand new league, um, you do want to unlock the um, Ember cards as soon as possible. You want to basically prioritize first things first, Benevolent. It is the um, most valuable card then it's going to be basically giving the most income out of any other card that you could put in your trait deck secondly is the card for dark surge um, the dark surge edicts are extremely profitable right now they add a lot of extra mobs to your map um, and the rewards that they give are just extremely profitable the edicts themselves um, are still um, 4 to 5 FE each and then the Edict of Doom is at 18 FE. Um, again if it is on the first couple days of a brand new league then you also want to be prioritizing Zeal and Tolerant. Um, after that things kind of open up depending on what you're trying to do. The cards for Admiring and Expectant are also extremely important. Um, the drop quantity value is more important now than it was before when the method was to stack as much as many mobs as you possibly could in your map it kind of did diluted that a bit but since that is gone uh, drop quantity and drop rarity are a little bit better now than they were before per point the other cards that you want to be focusing on um, i personally like to take solemnity um, just because um Having that 1% chance at an extremely valuable um, legendary is a good way to just kind of have an extra chance at getting a little bit of extra um, currency. A lot of the times when you're running things, especially early on when you're just trying to run maps as quickly as possible, you don't really want to be running um, too many of the league mechanics like uh, God of War or God of Might or even God of Machines because they they make the total time that you're going to be in a map be much longer than it would be without them. The only go uh, god um, that I recommend running myself is I run um, Goddess of Hunting because this doesn't really add any extra time to the map um, and it completes itself very quickly and I don't, I'm not going to basically be like doubling or tripling the amount of time that I'm going to be spending in a single map and my initial goal is to just cycle maps as quickly as possible to just get my cards leveled up and unlocked as quickly as possible. Um, in that sense, the other things again, if you do want to um, do the league mechanics, they can be very profitable. Um, God of Machines has quite a few very expensive legendaries. Goddess of Hunting has the same, and Goddess or God of Might also has some as well. Same with God of War. Um, so if you are trying to go unique hunting or legendary hunting rather, then those cards are at your discretion. The card Honest is a card that is important if you are trying to maximize your funding through Dark Surge, but it is less important if you are not trying to focus on strategy specifically regarding it. It is specifically, it is good for situations where you're trying to basically get your Dark Surge running and run it as long as you possibly can. So running it on a seven map cycle instead of a five map cycle. This gives you a little bit extra time to ensure that you're stacking up more Dark Surges um, or stacking up more valuable maps with at least three or four 
um, trait cards running on it. Other than those, um, again, if it's early league, you want to make sure that you are unlocking Zeal and Tolerant. I personally do not recommend running the mechanics that are around running Sharp and other various sources of um, causing six link rares to drop. I'm really not a fan of any of the two card combos that require a specific other card because they're really hard to actually get lined up and relying on them just feels like they are not consistent enough versus some of the other sources of income I can get um, while just cycling my maps as quickly as possible. So for the other zones that I recommend, um, or for each other zone rather, the maps that I recommend for blistering um, Lava Sea, my number one recommended map is going to be Blustery Canyon. This is again the same thing that basically all the maps and all the areas that I like to run. They are extremely linear. Um, they have good mob density or good pack spacing to where you can quickly take advantage of them with things like freezing transmission or some sort of mechanic to where you're kind of bouncing from pack to pack. Um, the alternative recommended ones if you want to prioritize would be Dragon Rest Canyon um, and Shadow Outpost. These are also again um, very linear maps. They may have a little bit less they may have a few pockets that you may miss, so you may only be clearing 80 to 85% of the mobs. But Blustery Canyon, um, Demiman Village, uh, Cloud Walls, and Groves of Calamity are maps that you're going to be consistently clearing 95% uh, plus on every single run that you run through them. So I got ahead of myself a little bit there, but for Steel Forge, again, my number one recommendation is going to be Cloud Walls. Um, if there isn't good things on Cloud Walls and there are good things on other maps. I recommend Wall of Sorrows and Wall of the Pier. These are both just basically Ramparts maps for the Steel Forge areas. Um, so again, you're running into the same thing where they're extremely linear, extremely fast, and they are maps where you're going to be able to kind of kill everything without having to really go out of your way or backtrack at all. For Thunder Wastes, my recommendations are Groves of Calamity, number one. Um, this is my favorite map in the entire game. It is extremely short, it is extremely fast, and it um, allows you to basically kill almost 100% of the mobs every time without backtracking at all. Um, so if you're just trying to ex cycle extremely quickly to unlock cards, this is one of the best maps to do it on, um, along with Demiman Village, which is basically the exact same layout, just a little bit of extra um, stuff at the very beginning of it. Um, alternatively, in this area, I recommend Rain Mist Jungle and Weeping Mines. And for Voidlands, which is an area that I absolutely despise and I basically do not do this area at all outside of the one time that I'm forced to do it, it is um, my recommendation is to run Dreamless Thicket and Jungle of the Brood. Neither of these maps are anywhere near on the tier or quality of life that the other maps that I've recommended as like the this is the best map for the zone but they are the best that this area offers on top of that for this area this watcher I in my opinion is one of the most rippy and most annoying watchers um, out there depending on what build you're playing um, it could be extremely hard to kind of find an opening to actually deal damage to the boss um, you may randomly just get killed through desync. Um, part of that might just be because I play on latency because I'm playing on an EU server from NA. But um, personally, I'm just not a fan of any of the maps in the zone or the boss itself. If you are just trying to specifically farm um, watchers in a safe manner, um, my recommendations are Glacial Abyss and Thunder Wastes. Um, the boss for Lava Sea is fairly easy as well but he does have two mandatory immunity phases where you no matter how much damage you're doing you're gonna have to wait for those um, the counter to that for glacial abyss and thunder wastes is um, if your damage is high enough you can kill them before they can basically do more than one attack um, so those two maps have again between Demiman Village and Groves of Calamity they're pretty much the same map and they are extremely linear where you're killing almost 100% of everything. So if you're running um, something that uh, wants you to kill all the mobs, 
you're not gonna um, be punished or have to go out of your way to kill everything. The boss for Steel Forge isn't too bad at, um, as well. I just personally don't care for um, called walls or walls of the pier, walls of the shadows or sorrows rather, um, as much as the other maps. So I am going to go ahead and showcase the maps for each region, my recommended maps for each region right now. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. The next video I have coming out will be a um, showcase of running three of every single map in every single zone and I'm going to break down the data of uh, kind of how many, what percentage of the mobs you're killing in every zone, um, you know, how profitable each and every zone was with, while skipping the league mechanic, and then um, kind of my recommendations for, again, the best maps and my descriptions or kind of notes for every single map in each zone. And uh, you can use that to help yourself out to hopefully find a map that you prefer if you like something different than what I like. So other than that, see you in the next one. Thank you.